untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a Halo Fountain combo deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring a 3-mana Mythic Rare artifact from Streets of New Capenna, which also counts as an alternate win condition if we pay 5 white mana, tap Halo Fountain, and untap 15 tapped creatures we control, we win the game. So not the easiest alternate win condition to pull off, especially on Arena, where opponents tend to concede before we get a chance to activate it, but we're trying to mitigate it a little bit by performing our entire combo in one big turn, so we don't have to spend multiple turns with a ton of creatures in play that could have just won the game by attacking. And our entire combo revolves around Magda Brazen Outlaw, a 2 mana 2 1 legendary dwarf, giving other dwarves plus 1 plus 0. And whenever a dwarf we control becomes tapped, including Magda herself, we get to make a treasure token. And we can sacrifice 5 treasures at any point to search our library for an artifact or dragon card and put it onto the battlefield. So the early game of our deck consists of Sentinel maybe tapping Magda to generate a mana and a treasure token for ramp as we're tapping our creature. We also have Gala Greeters which can make a treasure when another creature enters a battlefield as well as gain some life or maybe pick up some plus one counters. And then Prosperous Innkeeper comes into play with a treasure token and can also gain more life as more creatures come into play to keep us alive. And then once we have 5 treasures we can activate Magda's final ability and we're usually gonna start by searching up our one copy of Masquid Nexus, saying creatures we control are every creature type and the same is true for creature spells we control and creature cards we own that aren't on the battlefield, so even creatures in our library. So now all of a sudden all our creatures turn into dwarves, meaning they get plus one plus so from Magda and whenever they become tapped they create a treasure token, so they all turn into mana creatures, which is especially powerful alongside a vehicle and we're playing four copies of his Seekas Chariot in our deck as just an individually powerful card but also one of our combo enablers. So we can also crew a Seekas Chariot maybe using Magda to generate treasures in the early game and then once we have Masquid Nexus in play if we crew a Seekas Chariot any creatures that tap to crew a Seekas Chariot will also generate treasures and even once a Seekas Chariot is already a creature we can still keep crewing it by just tapping a bunch of creatures and thanks to the one extra power from Magda it's even easier to just tap a bunch of creatures to crew a Seekas Chariot and make more and more treasure. Once we have enough treasure to activate Magda once again, we typically want to start by searching up a copy of Zorn. And you might be wondering how does Magda search up Zorn, which is an elemental and not a dragon? Well, that's where Masquid Nexus once again comes in handy, turning all our creatures into dragons, including those in our library. So we can fetch up a copy of Zorn, saying if we would create a treasure token we get to make two treasures instead. So now it becomes easier to make more and more mana with Magda and all the creatures we search up that can make more treasure by crewing a Seekas Chariot, get more copies of Zorn until we get all four in play and now it's going to become trivial to make more treasure, search up basically every creature in our deck and then once we have enough creatures and enough treasure we can search up Halo Fountain, pay the five white mana using treasure tokens, untap 15 tapped creatures and win the game so we don't even give the opponent a chance to untap and maybe cast a sweeper to ruin our day. So that's how the Halo Fountain combo works. Then we've got a few additional cards with Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which can also generate a Goblin Shaman token, which can make more treasure when it attacks. Also great to copy that token with Isika's Chariot if we get a chance to attack with it. And the second chapter also useful for finding the missing combo pieces. And then we also have four copies of Stimulus Package, an enchantment that when it enters generates two treasure tokens, so another great way to potentially get to five treasures for Magda. And we can sacrifice a treasure at any point to create a 1-1 one, one, green and white citizen creature token. So that has a ton of interesting applications in this deck. First off, it's a great combo with Gala Greeters, as we can now make a token in the opponent's turn as well to make more treasure, turn that treasure into an additional token, maybe gain some life, put some plus one counters on the Gala Greeters. I've already featured featured this combo in a few other decks, so that's incredibly powerful. And then if we get Stimulus Package with Magda, with Chariots, with Masquid Nexus, that's also a way of making infinite tokens, as we can now make a 2-1 token thanks to the Masquid Nexus turning our citizens into dwarves as well. And then if we make a 2-1 token, make a second 2-1 token, that's 4 power enough to crew a Seekas Chariot, that makes 2 treasures thanks to Magda, which can turn into 2 more tokens, and you can see where this is headed. And then we can eventually maybe get a Zorn in play, turn those infinite tokens tokens into infinite treasures as well, and then we can eventually get Halo Fountain to also win the game. 
And then our mana base has a little bit of white mana in it to maybe hard cast Halo Fountain if we happen to draw it. So we've got all 12 pathways, Rockfall Veil, couple basic lands, enough to cast our Sentinel on turn 1 reliably, and then some channel lands as well, and two copies of Den of the Bugbear in case our combo plan doesn't work out. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. We've got our Magda with a backup. And then we'll see if we want to run out Magda turn 2. Or if we hold on to her against a blue deck. We might have a chance to actually attack with Magda. So we'll run her out there. And then we've got a few ways to generate more treasure here. And depending on if Magda survives, we may or may not discard our second copy to Fable. But for now we get a clean attack. It's probably a good idea to hang on to a second copy just in case. And for now play Fable. That resolves. No response end of turn. Could see a sweeper. Nope, we get to untap. Alright, so we can generate some more treasure. Now our opponent could have the Wandering Emperor to maybe exile a tapped creature, but that's okay. I think we just get rid of two lands at this point. And then I could play Zorn before attacking to make even more treasure. And hope that works out. Move to combats. So that would be four treasures incoming, so that's enough to activate Magda already. So we can get our mask with Nexus. Don't have to do it right now. And there's a Wandering Emperor as expected. Run away. You'll be safer. Opponent can just make a 2-2 Samurai, but they're gonna exile Magda. So do I want to activate Magda now, get Mask with Nexus? And potentially expose it to removal. Um, I think we'll wait, although there's a chance they counter the second Magda. So that's the concern. Alright, I guess we'll search up Nexus now. Could also go for Chariot first, but then we're gonna struggle to get five more treasures potentially. So we'll get Maskwood. And play a tap to Den. Doomscar are gonna wipe the board, unfortunately. But we still have our Maskwood Nexus. So now we need to get some more creatures going. Den of the Bugbear would be pretty awesome to activate once we have a Magda. Um, I think this turn I might be tempted to just activate Den, kill Wandering Emperor. Although next turn we still won't have the mana to play Magda and activate Den. Although we can maybe do some shenanigans with Reflection, which could also be quite powerful alongside Magda. So yeah, that's fine. We'll activate Den, finish off Emperor. Token can go face. I guess that's it then. And then, yeah, just playing Magda with Reflection of Kiki Jiki could be pretty decent. Opponent is going to Fateful Absence the Reflection instead. So I'm no longer interested in playing Magda this turn, I don't think. So we'll play another Fable and then maybe Innkeeper as well, which I guess I can play first. Could also start activating Mask with Nexus to make some Shapeshifters. And hit for one. And then I will probably end up discarding Boseju to Fable. Opponent with a Broker's Charm drawing two. Luckily, Maskwood Nexus an artifact and not an enchantment they can destroy. But our opponent could have all sorts of counter spells and author interaction to mess up our combo. So it's not going to be a walk in the park. Memory Deluge goes digging. 
Still two mana for maybe another Fateful Absence. So one way we could play around Instant Speed Removal of Magda is waiting until we can activate Reflection of Kiki Jiki to make a copy of Magda in response. Right, opponent taps out for a Sunset Ravelry. Okay, that's fine. I think we just want to untap. And then now, we might have everything we need to combo off. So I can play Gala Greeters, play Magda, that will make a treasure. All our creatures turn into dwarves. So by attacking I generate a whole bunch more treasure. So we'll be able to get chariots. And then with chariots, we should have enough creatures to keep going. Opponent blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Get the Seekas chariots. And then we want to tap the least amount possible, but still have enough treasure. But I guess that still means tapping everything to get Zorn. And then... What's next? Activate Magda again, get Zorn. Zorn taps to... Generates two treasure now. Not enough to activate Magda again. I can channel Crucible for two mana, since we control two legendary creatures. So those will make four treasure. And then we can keep getting Zorn. Unless we need to get the Seekas Chariot here. So let's see if we get Zorn. That taps for three treasure. So that wouldn't quite be enough to get another one. If I now get a Seekas Chariot, I would create two tokens that both make two treasure. So that doesn't really help our cause. So, hmm. Are we just one treasure short here? Yeah, Sika's Chariot doesn't even break even right now. So I think it's get Zorn. And then I think we're sadly one treasure short. Since this is a clue token. Oh man. So I can't keep going, get another Zorn and go infinite now. Since Chariot cannot tap itself since they changed the rules. So that's unfortunate, especially for opponent has a sweeper now. But uh, yeah, I think we're stuck now. So we'll pass and hope there's no sweeper. We were very close. Opponent's gonna draw with Revitalize. Land 5. Could see a hard cast Doomscar. Another Revitalize, okay, looks like I'll actually get to untap. And a Ravelry, okay, so that keeps the opponent maybe alive, which lets us combo off even more. Gala Greeters makes a treasure. And we're not gonna waste any time here. Five treasure, get another Zorn. And then we want to tap some creatures to crew. Magda can sack five more treasures. And then can get another Gala Greeters. Can tap some more creatures.
opponents not conceding as they could conceivably still find a sweeper. And we maybe can kill them this turn, so that's where Halo Fountain actually comes in handy. So, crew chariot some more. Then we're about to just tap all our creatures at once here. Get, I guess, another Galag Reaters. How many creatures do we have in play here? Five. Getting close. So, just want to speed this up as much as possible so our opponent doesn't leave. And I think I just get another Chariot here. Okay. Couple more triggers. Let's try and tap everything to Chariot now. And I think we've got 15 creatures in play. So we can get our fountain. And activate it. Alright, we needed a little bit of luck to dodge a sweeper since we were one treasure short of comboing off last turn. But yeah, first game and we managed to get there. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and yeah, we've got kind of an ideal start. Sentinel into Magda, which can ramp out Stimulus Package, make more tokens. And then we want to try to get our Mask with Nexus in play as soon as possible. And I would rather make a treasure than attack for one. Zorn also a nice pickup opponent on what looks like a green-white life gain deck, so they'll be able to make some very large creatures, but we can make a lot of tiny creatures to chum block and hopefully stay alive long enough to set up our combo. We drew Halo Fountain, saves me a Magda activation, I guess. So we'll play Zorn and pass. Can make two treasure now, and the next turn stimulus package makes three, gets Mask with Nexus, and get the party started. Another innkeeper. Could see Voice of the Blessed. Pick up a few plus one counters. It's gonna be a unicorn instead. Okay. So that picks up two counters. Opponents at 26. And we'll make some treasure end of turn. Alright, time for a stimulus package. And then we can activate Magda, get Mask with Nexus before we tap anything. Then we can tap Magda, which will now make four treasure thanks to Mask with Nexus and Zorn. So we can activate Magda again, get the Seekas Chariots. Cruisica's chariots with the least possible. So this makes four treasures. We'll have to tap Zorn as well, I think. But I think we can already go infinite here since we have stimulus package in play. So package turns any creature into a token. Can get another Zorn as well if we'd like. So we can make infinite tokens, infinite treasure and eventually play Halo Fountain and win the game. So I'll get a couple more Zorns just to speed it up. Can make another Citizen if we'd like, but we don't need it as Zorn Cruise Chariot by himself. Get our final Zorn. And then Crew Chariot once again. 
can start making some citizens. And now each citizen will make five treasure when it becomes tapped. So just need to get up to 15 creatures as soon as possible. And I think we're getting close. Alright, I think that should do it. Tap everything to a Seekas Chariot. Make a whole lot of treasure. Play Halo Fountain. And our opponent sadly conceded a second before we could pull it off. But I think we'll still count this one on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. I don't think this hand is gonna get there with Halo Fountain, no green mana. Seems a little awkward. Once again, Halo Fountain in our opening hand, but we can put it on the bottom and then the rest of our hand seems functional. Opponent also red-green, maybe a land destruction deck. And yeah, we don't have a ton of basics, so Cleansing Wildfire can be quite punishing if they cast a few copies. We'll go with the Gala Greeters into maybe a turn 3 Zorn, which can then make two treasures. Field of Ruin doesn't have any targets at least. Strangle kills Greeters. In that case, probably go for Fable. And then save our uh, greeters until we can enable it in the very same turn. Same with the Zorn. Rebuke kills our Shaman. At least our opponent's down to two cards in hand. But uh, Visionary can maybe get something back. See, uh, Titan of Industry could mess up some of our combo pieces. What do we want to discard? Maybe Innkeeper, and then keep Zorn Greeters. Could just play a Chariot now, or we could go Gala Greeters into Innkeeper. Maybe I just keep everything, although I still need to find Magda as the thing. So maybe Innkeeper can go, and I'll keep the rest. And then I can tempt the opponent in maybe killing my white source. Although I should probably play this one. Play chariots, next turn go greeters into Zorn. And then chariot can maybe also copy our treasure token so we have enough to activate Magda once we find her. Alright, opponent's gonna wipe the board. That's fine. Back up chariots. So we'll play greeters. Play Zorn. Make treasure first. Crew chariots and attack. Copying treasure token. Right, so we're up to four treasure. And then Reflection of Kiki Jiki, also pretty fun with Gala Greeters. Opponent looking at their graveyard, maybe planning to channel the Visionary, get something back. Goes for the Sweeper and the 7 drop. Okay, so opponent's gonna try and wipe the board next turn. There's not a whole lot I can do about it, so we wanna keep our Chariot as a leftover. And then we'll start with, yeah, I guess we'll copy Zorn. And then we'll go with a plus one counter here. Crew chariots. Attack. Copy Zorn. And then now we can go for treasure, which will make quite a bit more treasure. Pass it back. All right, so we've got eight treasure ready to go as soon as we find a stimulus package or Magda. Opponent wipes the board. There's Magda, so are we ready to combo? Need to make sure we can get there all the way. 
If I play another chariot first, just to make two cats, two crew chariots, that's probably not a bad idea. And then Magda can still get our uh, mascot nexus. So we'll play Magda. Get mascot nexus. Then we'll crew chariots, tapping the least possible to still have enough treasures to activate Magda, which I guess is going to be tough here. I mean, chariot can attack for five, copy a treasure. We might have wanted to tap the extra cat to get Zorn first. Uh, or I can copy the cats and then both cats can tap to crew as well. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to fully combo off here, but I guess our opponent is at four, so maybe this is good enough. Yeah, Magda gets Zorn. And then what? I have a couple creatures I can tap, make more treasure. Yeah, maybe we still actually have enough here. So those two will make four treasures, so I need to tap all three. I can get another Zorn. Although that one is only going to generate a three treasure if I tap it. So it's not actually enough. If I get another Chariot, that pays for another Zorn, but we're kind of breaking even. So, yeah, maybe I should have just kept the treasure tokens instead. So, yeah, I'll uh, crew now to make my treasure. And then that's the end of the road for us. Can fully combo off. But our opponent's still at four life, so they'll need another sweeper here. And even if they do, we can still play another chariot to crew the original one. So we were pretty close to getting there. Just needed one more treasure, I guess. My Shaya's not gonna save them. And strangles one Zorn. Sure. All right, GG's. So yeah, we could keep comboing here, but we'll just attack for the win. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with an awesome opening hand. Sentinel into Magda, even a Zorn to make more treasure. And chariots. Well, just need to hit some land drops, and we're playing 26 total, so should be feasible. Opponent on an enchantment deck, turn one visitor, which doesn't tend to have a lot of interaction necessarily. And with this hand, I'm hopeful we can kill the opponent before they manage to combo off themselves. Opponent is Naya Colors. If they were just green whites, they might have more removal and enchantment form. But the Naya versions typically don't, as they don't have room for it. So we'll play Magda and pass. Can make treasure end of turn. Keep Sentinel on defense. Next turn, play Zorn and keep going. Stimulus package would also be a nice draw. Rune of Sustenance giving Visitor lifelink. That's okay. As long as we don't go to zero or less life, it doesn't matter how much life our opponent has. Untap. Play Zorn. First order of business. And then I can tap Magda, make two treasure. I've got a mana, so I could play chariots. Or I can just play an innkeeper for now. And save a bit more treasure for later. Got a back of Magda, which is our most important creature in play. So, yeah, there's a chance we can combo next turn. As our opponent's 
Place another rune of sustenance. And we take four. Gala Greeter is also a fun one. But we're not gonna mess around, play chariots. And then step one, tap Magda. Step two, get mask with Nexus. Then now I can crew chariots using these two. Five treasure gets another Zorn. Tap two more creatures. She'll make six treasure. I guess I could play a Gala Greeters now. Activate Magda. Get another Zorn. Make Treasure. Crew Chariots. Get our final Zorn. And then we're off to the races. And now I can tap everything at once, since we've reached a maximum amount of Zorns. We'll get a Gala Greeters. Get another one. And our opponent explodes. Yeah, we were pretty close here, just needed a couple more creatures and then eventually get Halo Fountain to win the game. Possibly could have just uh, fetched up Halo Fountain earlier and then maybe our opponent would have been patient enough to wait until we have 15 creatures in play. But uh, yeah, understandably, once we reach this point, there's no sense in the opponent to keep playing as we can search up every creature in our deck onto the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Our hand is eh, a little bit lackluster. Could still set up a turn 3 chariots, but we're missing most of our combo pieces, so take a mulligan. And then I'll try this. We've got a turn 3 chariot if we want it. Or we can wait and then go for a fable first. Opponent red black. Could be a Meat Hook Massacre deck. Which uh, can be both a good thing or a bad thing. Bad because they can delay our combo. Good, they may stick around to let us uh, actually activate Halo Fountain if they're holding a sweeper. And then I think Chariot is still probably our best bet. Could have attacked with Innkeeper first. But our opponent may want to kill a cat token. And then next turn we can copy our shaman right away. Ah, going to just revitalizing, gaining three. And then we'll keep some lands in hand to discard to our second chapter. Cram session can learn for a plethora of answers, including Removal for Chariots, just gets Sciences. Alright, Gala Greeters, not bad. But I think I prefer Fable here. And then... Probably okay to play one more land out. Is it time for Massacre? Just Sciences for now. So we'll get to make some more treasure tokens, which is always appreciated. And then we're looking for Magda, pretty much. 
Tenacious Underdog. Another Fable. Alright, I think we keep the second Fable to keep digging towards Magda, even though Gallic Readers would be nice. Zorn, the draw as well. So, probably just go for another Fable. Crew, and attack with as many Shamans as possible. Send an Innkeeper as well, if they want to kill it, that's fine. Copy Shaman. If we had a treasure token, I would probably have copied the treasure token with chariots. Opponent chumps, so a sweeper may very well be in our future. We'll have a chariot, a couple treasures left over, and Fable transforming as well. And it's gonna be a silver quill command. Getting back underdog. Sure. Discards double greeters. Did not find any combo pieces, but our opponent seems kind of dead here. So let's just activate then. Crew chariots. And smash. So just an early Innkeeper into Chariots. Enough to steal the game against an opponent who couldn't produce a Sweeper. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. And uh, yeah, we've got a Promising Hand, Galag Reacher's plus Stimulus Package. Quite exciting. And then Magda, of course. Always nice to have access to. Don't want to necessarily draw Halo Fountain just yet, but who knows, maybe we'll get to make some tokens with it. Opponent on red, green, uh, werewolves. So, could start with Gala Greeters. I don't think I want to expose Magda to removal this early. And then next turn, Innkeeper can trigger Gala Greeters. And we'll start making some treasure. Hound Tamer. Okay, Sentinel makes Magda a lot more appealing as well. So now we can Innkeeper into Sentinel. And then definitely one Treasure. And then we have to decide between life or plus one counter. Maybe plus one counter can discourage Naturalist from attacking. Nope. Could go for a trade, but I think Greeters is still going to be more valuable with Stimulus Package coming up. So I'll take it. And a Ranger class to play. Alright, they did not level up, so they might be holding a Protection Pump Spell of sorts. We can just go for Stimulus Package or Magda, both quite appealing. I think I wanna... let's see, can we do both? Maybe both is fine. Yeah, I guess we'll go for Magda. Tap Magda with Sentinel. And then play Stimulus Package. Could even consider playing Halo Fountain too, but... Don't think that's quite as appealing. Could play it, untap... Magda, but then it's not like we can tap her again. So we'll go for a package. And then we've already made treasure with Gala Greeters, and I think I want to hang on to as much treasure as possible. So I'm just going to pass, even though I could get Mask with Nexus already and make a few treasures by attacking. I think we'll wait. And then uh, can certainly make another token with Stimulus Package in the opponent's turn as we control Gala Greeters. So, let's see here. Do we want to block first with Gala Greeters? 
I mean, our opponent probably has a pump spell, so I don't think we should risk it. But I can do this first, see if there's a response. Make treasure. And, yeah, I think we'll just take it here. Down to nine we go. And then can untap first before we get Mask with Nexus. Dolls transform to Knight. And what's next? So we can get Mask with Nexus, that will produce enough treasure to activate Magda again if we attack with a team. And then we can get a Chariot in play. And maybe keep going. So Mask with Nexus is the first order of business. Move to combats. And then damage happens. And now what? I can just use Stimulus Package plus um, Magda to make a whole bunch of tokens, but we still need Chariots to kind of kickstart everything. Do have Gala Greeters as well, so I think we can actually set up the infinite uh, token combo if there's no interaction. But we won't be able to make infinite treasure since we're short a copy of Zorn. So we'll get chariots. That will trigger greeters. And then we can make treasure, gain some life. And then I can use stimulus package, make a token. And I guess it's also infinite life as we control Prosperous Innkeeper. So I can crew. And then now we have two treasures, can turn those into two tokens, which crew chariot again, so we can keep tapping them. And yeah, that's infinite tokens, infinite life. Just missing infinite treasure to win with Halo Fountain. Because, yeah, we don't have enough white mana to activate it, otherwise we would have been able to get there, too. Alright, I guess we'll pass a turn now, and then see if our opponent lets us untap to win with Halo Fountain. Otherwise we'll do what's necessary. Another Naturalist. That's fine. Opponent attacks, 14, 15 damage. I guess I should probably gain a little bit of life here before taking it. Otherwise we risk getting killed by burn spell. Or a pump spell for that matter. Can make another treasure. And a right, our opponent has seen enough. Yeah, next turn we would have been able to untap, and then easy Halo Fountain victory, although just attacking with infinite tokens would do it as well. So that's kind of the problem with Halo Fountain as a win condition. It's mostly redundant, but sometimes when facing sweepers, of course, it can uh, save the day, as the opponent may be waiting to untap and wipe the board, and that's exactly where they'll be patient enough to let you get a Halo Fountain to win the game instead. Although, then again, you could also replace Halo Fountain with any number of creatures that can give the team haste, and uh, those include uh, Doomscar Titan, there's the Goro Goro which can give the team haste, or even better, you can play the Goblin that uh, will be able to pump all goblins and give them haste, and thanks to Masked Nexus all our creatures are goblins, so no shortage of creatures to give the team haste, and then you can just attack with everyone and there's no need for Halo Fountain. Although that being said, this is still probably one of the best homes for Halo Fountain if you're looking to get that alternate win condition going, as we've been able to do so even on turn 4 I believe in one of the games, if our opponent gives us the chance to combo off completely. 
And that also raises another interesting question and maybe a debate whether or not Arena should have a better system for some combo decks to have their fun after the opponent concedes. I know some of the old Duels of the Planeswalkers games had AI takeover if the opponent left and then you could either take the win and walk away or maybe keep playing against AI and potentially see all your combos in action. Of course there's always Sparky you can play against but uh, Sparky should probably be updated too by now as it's not the most compelling opponent and uh, yeah of course some other systems could be implemented too maybe like some fun achievement systems for alternate win conditions could be a ton of fun maybe reward players with gems and other cosmetics to get those alternate win conditions would maybe incentivize people to play some more different decks otherwise there's no huge incentive for someone to win with Halo Fountain other than personal satisfaction but I could keep going on and on about other improvements on Arena but uh that's probably barking up the wrong tree here. So yeah, that'll do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.